like I started getting really emotional, I hadn't even looked at you. And my heart, I was going mental. I was going absolutely, my heart felt like it was going to like... Excitement! Literally! Nerves. I cried my makeup down my mm -hmm. face. Hey, hey guys! And welcome back to our channel! We're married! <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's do our thing! You know what, I've been feeling so good the last few days because I've been like, let's see the ring and I've been like, okay! okay. Here we go! <laughs> yeah, we had a year of everyone asking to see yeah. the engagement ring and now you're like... You know, okay. sister, you look at that <laughs> ring! Ooh, isn't it shiny? I love it on you so much, James hasn't quite got used to yeah. it yet. I'm still a bit like, what's that thing on my finger? We all know practical James likes to be, you know, fully comfortable. Like be, yeah, this is going to sound dodgy, but free and loose, you know? <laughs> You just want nothing kind of holding you down and I keep on like going to go to bed and just like I start taking it off and I'm like No, nope, that's, mm. that's not what we're doing now. Yeah, like when you take your watch off Yeah, you like take your watch off and then nope, that stays on. That you'll get stays used to on. it. I keep thinking that he'll get used to it But I it's love, been... love the look. Yeah, same. And I still think about less today. It is getting better It's getting every better day, every day. Today is Monday and we got mm. married last Friday So we've had a few days. It's exactly 2 p.m. So about 20 past 2 on Friday we were wed we were wed. It was the best day ever. And we I just want to quickly, sorry. Yeah, go on. Quickly start off this video, okay? So this isn't our wedding video, no. okay? Our wedding video so is going up on the... Oh yes, the 14th of, of July 2019. Actual wedding video is going up, which is being produced by like the amazing videographers mm. who came to our big day. They go by Olivia and Felicia. And we have seen the trailer which is actually going up in six hours time from when this video was uploaded. Oh yeah! So 5 p.m. UK time, the trailer oh, is going up on Karis' channel. So go check out the trailer on Karis' channel. It's up six hours after this is up, but then the main video on the 14th of July 2019 is going up on this channel, on James and Karis. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have your notice on, because that is literally going to be the next video. We are not posting until then, so stay tuned. Get We're going on our honeymoon. Get your cups tea ready for the next 12 days. So the, the trailer's going up today, and it just kind of shows some nice like shots sneak. from the day. Yeah. But then the actual video is going to be far more storytelling Everything. from start to finish. So yeah. the trailer just kind of shows the beauty, yeah. and then the, the actual video will be quite storytelling from the very start of the day, from us both getting ready yeah. to kind of dancing in the evening. They so, literally recorded yeah, everything. I can't wait. From tomorrow, which is Wednesday, we are going on our honeymoon for a week, and we are not doing anything on social media. We're not, we are vlogging for the first day to be posted when we get back, but we are not going to be on Instagram or YouTube. No posts. James has literally said healthy. this in every video. Just, I just don't want you guys to worry, like, I where have they gone? We're on our honeymoon, we're taking the week off, kind of internet stuff. We'll be back, don't you worry. We're going to be back week. refreshed and ready to go. Although I don't want to leave now. No, no I know. Oh I know, we're too excited. <laughs> this is why we wanted to sit down and do this video because literally yeah. ever since the wedding we have been talking about the wedding non-stop. It's like all we want to talk about. And now our family is just bored of talking about the wedding. I know, and we're there like... We've been talking about it for two days straight. So we're going to talk to you guys about the wedding. Yay! <laughs> this is the good thing about having all of you guys as our other friends so we can explain everything in our life to you because we get too excited about everything. Okay, so all of my sort of bridesmaids and my mum, we all went down to the venue in the morning with the videographers and my hair. We, we slept apart the night before. We did. We, did. we stayed the night apart. James, oh my gosh, James left me a little card on my pillow. Oh, I wish I brought it down. Um, a little card on my pillow which was from Mila and it was like two dogs on the front and I was literally like, I went up to bed into my room and I was like, what's that on my pillow? And it was a card from Mila and it was like, I'm so proud of you mum, I can't wait to become a family. I was basically crying because <laughs> I spent no time apart from James, I was already missing you and it had been like an hour. And I wrote in it like, I'll look after dad tonight if he gets anxious because Mila was with me at my parents because she was staying up there the next day. <laughs> it was so cute and I was literally like already emotional and he only just left and I was like, I miss you. Um, so yeah, we spent the night apart which was really good mm -hmm. but I did miss you loads. I missed you loads. So sad. I just wanted to spend every minute with you. I know, lol, we're so sad like that. Um, and yeah, we all went down in the morning together to the venue. We got down there at 9 o'clock and the wedding was at 2. We got ready straight away. We started on my hair, they did my hair, they did my makeup. I wasn't nervous, like I think my whole family is like very chilled. I didn't have like 
a lot of the sort of hair and makeup people would say that a lot of the mother of the brides would be quite stressy and quite. And my mum is oh, literally no. oh, she, in her dressing thing. gown, drinking a prosecco. She was just like, she, yeah. Both of your parents are very relaxed. It was very so relaxed. relaxed. It was amazing. Um, my bridesmaids are very like natural. They hardly do any makeup or anything to their hair, so it was so easy. The morning they just sat in the mirror whilst I got pampered, and they were just like, yeah, doing their makeup, done in five minutes. Yeah, that whole sort of morning was so chilled. I was a little bit nervous that the the morning was going to be stressful and that I was going to be stressed out. Not once did I feel stressed, not once did I feel like flustered or nervous. It was so relaxed. Was it the photographer of the video first? Can't remember. They were saying that they were like we were like the most chilled out bridal party they'd ever they had. They were saying that to me as well. So many like, people. Both of you were so chill. I was like, I'll come on to my but I didn't feel chilled. But um, <laughs> and the people chilled. working at the venue kept popping in like yeah. every half an hour or whatever they do, they were like, You're way too chill. <laughs> oh, so basically we got ready and I was ready an hour early. One o'clock, yes. I was ready in my dress. We were just chilling, eating what they call space, space, space the ones with the shirt that's in discs? them. I don't know. We were just chilling, eating those on the floor. Um, and we just waited for an hour, basically. We did some photos, we did some chill stuff, mm -hmm. we played some music. We just chilled and it was amazing. It was so relaxing, so nice. And from my getting ready room, I could see out onto the lawn and I was like watching everyone arrive. Yes, arrive. Yeah. And I was like, there's my friends! And I was watching them and they were so excited and so happy and I really wanted to shout down like, Did you Hi, see guys. me at all? Well, people were like, James is coming, James is coming! So then I ran across the room I was like, I don't want to see James! I wanted to like, <laughs> keep it a surprise. That's so cute. I know, so I was cute. so excited to see you and I was just, excitement was just the main emotion. I was so excited to get down the aisle. I was so excited to just <sighs> reveal myself to you. James hadn't seen any of my like, outfit or anything. <laughs> so I was like, oh. I'm here! <laughs> okay, explain your morning. Um, right, Go. so yeah, we left the night before, and the night before I was really anxious. Aww. I was really anxious, and I'm quite bad, and That's I think... I didn't want to leave you. One of the main things I was anxious about was kind of my speech during the ceremony, mm -hmm. and also like sure. my vows and stuff, and I kept on rehearsing them, and they were just going so badly. I don't particularly yeah. enjoy public speaking. Nor do I. So I was rehearsing the night before, and I was absolutely exhausted. So like, I threw it across the room, and I was like, I'm done, I'm done. And I went outside, and I just like sat outside like, I went to bed, I had a decent sleep, I think I had about six That's hours. That's good, so I was worried you weren't going to yeah. sleep. I was no, I so did, worried. I, did I sat with Mila on the bed with me. Aww. She was so lucky. She was like, I get to sleep on yeah. the bed. So I was like, yeah, I get to sleep on the bed. <laughs> but I slept in the middle of it, woke up the next day, um, and then I felt, I didn't feel nervous the next day, but I felt a bit like all over the place. And I woke up and I was like, yeah. What am I doing? I was just wandering from room to room. <laughs> and then I went to take the dog with my on dad. Walk. That's nice. And like, again, I was just like, he was trying to talk to me and I was like, it's like everywhere, like my mind. I think I skipped half a field. I was just like literally getting <laughs> corners like ridiculously. And you texted me later on and being like, yeah. I smashed my speech and that made me so yes. happy. Yes, and then I went home and I was like, right. And I did my speech, I didn't look at the piece of paper and I did it and I was like, smashed it, done it. And like from that part onwards, it was nothing but excitement. Good. Like just overwhelming excitement. And like, I have it. Like time. a little bit of butterflies. But excitement. And then I drove down the venue with my brother in my car, who was my best man. We got down there about half eleven. I thought I'd have loads of time. And then the day just flew by. Yeah, it did. Absolutely flew by. Twelve, I was getting changed. And then we were doing photos. And then I was like, welcoming the guests. Oh, yeah, did you do that? Yeah. Was that nice? Yeah, welcoming the guests was really nice, oh, that's actually. Nice. It was lovely seeing everyone come in. Yeah, I, I loved yeah. literally seeing people all dressed yeah. up and just being looking so special. Yeah. It was like really magical. That's a window. So nice to welcome everyone. Everyone was so excited. And it got me excited. Yeah. And the next day, I know the red straw turned up, who was conducting our ceremony. We had to go into the room and talk to her. Oh yeah. And then the next thing I know, the ceremony was signed. I know. It's it just all... literally came. When it came, it came. It just it started so... flying, didn't it? Yeah, they Ridiculous. came up to my room about I can't remember what time. Probably about quarter and, um, to two. They were like, "You ready to go?" By this point, my I was like uh, getting a little bit yeah. nervous. I was like a little bit heart beating, um, but I was just mostly excited, and I just I really couldn't wait to see James. So I think that was like just overtook it all. Um, we all went down and it was so funny, they had their like headpieces, the organisation, the um, the venue was so organised, organized. they were ridiculously organised. It was and like they an like... MIA operation, literally, I felt like I was in like a movie. <laughs> Everything flowed so well because of them and they were like, um, bride is coming, bride is coming and I was literally just laughing so much, they were like, bridemaids are down, bridemaids are down, I was like, this is brilliant. Um, so <laughs> bride is ascending, ascending yeah. downstairs. Quite a like dramatic entrance, we went for the dramatic, it took five minutes until I actually got down the aisle after. I'll tell started. you my version of this in a second. It was not like... um, and so we all stood outside. They yeah. had doors opening into the room where everyone was set one up. Bridesmaid. One bridesmaid. Sorry. One bridesmaid. One. Excuse me. One bridesmaid. One, one, one at a time. We had specific beats, and then the last bridesmaid. So there was three bridesmaids before me. 
as she got to the end of the aisle. I started walking in with my dad, um, and yeah, we just went, it was super slow, it was super dramatic. I was just honestly trying not to cry. Like, I was just looking at the floor. I had a real issue with emotion. <laughs> What, what did you see when you came in? Like, what was your, what was your first hit? Like, everyone was, look, was everyone looking at you from the very everyone, moment you, it was Because so the door was kind of off slightly to the right, and then you curved around and came down the aisle. Yeah. So did everyone look at you literally as soon as you entered the room? Yeah. yeah. And it was like a big, like, oh my goodness, this is so colourful, this is so yeah. magical. And then the music, I was listening, and I was just like, I'm going to see James in a sec. And then I got really, like, emotional. My lips started trembling, and I was like, I've got to look at the floor. I've got to just, like, I can't, I'm not going to blubber so before like, I get there. were you, like, looking at the guests, or were you just trying to look at no, me? No, I wasn't looking at the guests. No. I was like this. <laughs> you weren't looking at anything. You were looking at your feet. No, and apparently my dad was like, <laughs> everyone, and I was just there, like, ah. <laughs> Your dad's so chilled out. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking at James because I knew that I would burst out crying and I just wanted to, you know, stay collected. So did you see my back at all? Yeah, so I saw, because I thought James was going to be facing me. We, we discussed that the day before. Yeah, and so oh, when it I saw was like you, a last minute change, this was. Yeah, so then when I saw you t facing away, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting because you're going to look at me like as I'm sort of yeah. ready to walk down the aisle because I got to the front yeah. of the aisle and that was really exciting. Were so you seeing like, you turn yeah. away was quite exciting. So what happened was I was waiting at the front, so I was kind of standing on the right hand side of the aisle and my brother was looking down the aisle as my best friend yeah. there and um, we, we had a chat to the photographer, this was literally like two minutes before like the whole thing started and one of the photographers was like oh guys this would be amazing so John, my brother, he was like if, if James faces away and then when Harris is like halfway down the aisle John you tap James on the shoulder and that's when he can turn around and I was like change your plan but I think what was so I good was because it. they had that curved entrance. Yeah. I think if I was looking at you, yes. it's like I wouldn't have seen you properly. Yes, yeah, so because you would have been, been like... behind the guests and stuff yeah. over in that corner. So it was nice to only see you when I could really see, see you me. rather than see you in, in bits. I actually agree that was the yeah. best way to do it. But honestly, like the music started and I was facing facing the window, and the bridesmaids took ages. It was literally like it, took, it felt like an hour before yeah. the first bridesmaid got to me. And then I saw them come past me, I was like, right, but there's one. I was like, I've been here for two minutes. And then the third bridesmaid walked past, like, Billy. And my heart, I was going mental. I was going absolutely, my heart felt like it was going to, like... Excitement. Literally. I, my heart has never gone that fast. Yeah, mine was never gone fast. that fast. And, like, I started getting really emotional. I hadn't even looked at you. And, like, I was like, I, was, I wasn't feeling sick, thank goodness. But, but like, yeah. I thought I was going to start crying. It's and then I was like, oh my god, when's John going to tap me, when's John going to tap me, when's John going to tap me? And, it, and then he tapped me. So t you came down seeing my back. And then were you like, w did you feel like, when's he going to turn around? No, I knew that you were going to turn around, like, about yeah, halfway, halfway down. down. Yeah. Did, they didn't tell you, though, you just guessed. No, I yeah. just guessed. And I was like, yeah. that's actually really nice, because I was just so excited for you to turn around. And, and then, then John tapped me. <laughs> turn around! <laughs> and I turned around and I was instantly hit with like so much emotion. Like Karis looked stunning. Like, <laughs> she looked absolutely incredible. Oh. And like it was so funny because even though your dress was amazing, like I couldn't help but just look at you. Like look at you in the face. And you were like Do you know what I mean? Like you were absolutely stunning and like oh, even after just not seeing you for like twelve hours. I know that's a lot for us. It was so gorgeous <laughs> to like see you. And like, that's yes, cool. like I loved looking at your dress, but like even just looking at you, I was like, oh And I got there and I thought like and it was just going to be, and like, you couldn't stop, you kept like whispering to me, you look absolutely incredible, and I was like, stop it! <laughs> but like, when I turned around, I was so, like, literally the emotions hit me so hard, and I was so close to crying. I know. And like, you know, like, I think it's either good, and like, some people turn around and like, just start crying. Other people could turn around and just like, smile. And I did kind of went in between. Like, because I really didn't want to cry. I think just like you didn't yeah. want to cry. I didn't want to blubber. Yeah, because I knew like, if I started crying, it would be uncontrollable. And like, I would hit the floor probably. Yeah, yeah, I know. Exactly. It, all the emotion would just come up. So exactly. I was like, don't cry, don't cry. So I kind of turned around and I just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> and it was like smiling, but trying not to cry. I was like... <laughs> I can't wait to see the whole thing back on the oh, video. I don't want to watch that bit. I do. I've seen a photo from uh, Yeah, and you look gorgeous. Tina, and it looks okay. And you're like... Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I definitely didn't see him like that. I, 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 was I noticed not... you looking at the floor a lot. Yeah, I was like, I was. hello, I'm up here. No. Face I here. <laughs> I was so emotional. So, so emotional. As soon as I got to you, all yeah. my nerves disappeared. Like, I was a little bit nervous walking down the aisle. As soon as I got to you and we held hands, it was amazing. It was like a release of like, I was just like, I'm with you. And, and that was a big it's, thing for me, like, I yeah. literally, we were literally gripped onto each other like this. And like, I was like... Yeah, the cliche came completely true. And it really was that the second Karis got there, 
It was like no one else was in the room. Yeah, it was just me. And, and I was like, you know, when people tell you going into it, I was like, all right, good one. But seriously, it was, wasn't yeah. it? It was like no one else. Yeah, it was, felt like that. There and, and I get really nervous speaking in public and like my yeah. voice goes dry and like, I'm literally, no, I was completely fine. And that was a big thing for me. I thought I was going to be like, because oh, I was like panicking. I was like, mum, make sure you've got water by you in case I'm yeah. like, I do. <laughs> and like, you know, when your mouth just goes dry, not at all. I was just happy. I was just looking at you. And everyone was saying how James was looking at me so much. And I think that was a massive comfort. Oh, like every time. I stop looking at you. <laughs> I know. Every time, like. It was so, I've never been so focused in my whole life. Like yeah. literally, I didn't look at anyone else. You know when like sometimes you in the situation that you're tempted to see how other people are reacting? Yeah, no. Didn't look around once. Like looked at the red straw, obviously. And then looked at you, and like it no one else. It was amazing. It was so, so, so special. It was my favourite part of the day. It literally I was... I thought the ceremony would be, not in a horrible way. I yeah. mean, it was the most important part of the day, because it's when you get married. But I've always thought of it as just the formality. Yeah, Formal. And then kind of like you have fun, and you do your yeah, speeches. Yeah, yeah. But oh, it was incredible. It was beautiful. It was so nice. And everyone was saying how intimate it was. Yeah. it was quite, like, they, the venue made it all, like, really intimate. It was and really, tight like... And, yeah, and, and it was gorgeous. just so chilled, yeah. and like we laughed, like we we messed stuff up. I cried my makeup down my mm -hmm. face. And again, you think you're gonna get nervous when you have to do your own vows and stuff, but you don't have time. Like even if you think you would, you wouldn't have time. Like yeah. the the ceremony started and the registrar started, and the registrar was really amazing. She was amazing. And she had such a good mix of she kind was of formal, so amazing. but like really good fun. Everyone well. loved her. Everyone did love her. Yeah, she was like she was, so she, was like, she sounds really well. She's like the yeah. Swansea. The, the accents are far stronger, and it was like really comforting. It was really to have a really strong Welsh accent as you registrar. And she was just so happy, and, and she kept smiling at us. And when I was crying, she was like, "Are you okay? Yeah. Gonna take a breath." I was like. <gasps> I can't myself down. I think I think that's so amazing. If anyone else is getting married to, it's like it's yes, it's a formal occasion, but like it's really not. Sh and like, the whole thing was so amazing, and it was like if if we got overwhelmed, it just slowed just down. Just slowed down, just like, a minute. No one minds. Like it's no. our day. It's selfishly, it's, it's our, our day. day, and it was about and like, and like it's about us taking it as slow or as quick as yeah. we wanted to go. And and we read the vows yeah. like we read them to each other. Like I was like, yeah. like best is friend, yeah. and all of that, and like we just read them how we wanted to. Because I I like. I struggle a bit with like displays of like public yeah. displays of emotion. I'm getting better. Yeah, you are. But I used to struggle like a lot, like yeah. cuddling in public. So uh. <laughs> no, that's why I'm always like hello. <laughs> but um, but yeah, like no, I, did, like, I, yeah. I did such cringy vows in a good way, like lovely vows, and no, it, it was just, amazing. On it just the day, flows. like it's what the day is meant to be. Yeah, like, exactly. Just sh really showing your love to each other, like in a public kind of situation, yeah. and. No one's ever going to judge you for that. No, that I mean, was literally the, the point one of the day. day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it just felt so natural, and yeah. it was just so much more emotional, special, and just. Your I love vows it so much. So beautiful. Your vows were the best. Your vows no, were no, amazing. No, your vows were amazing. Your, your vows were amazing. <laughs> uh, I love doing the personal yeah, vows. They were really, really special. Yeah, because we it wasn't a church wedding, so the only formal vows we had were about two sentences each, and they were kind of the actual legal, legal vows. But we didn't have any of the church vows, which are kind of like in sickness and in health and yeah. all that. So we made our own, and it was really personal and really beautiful. Yeah, kind of do so that. much. That's when I started crying. Okay, <laughs> let's not go yeah, over that. Yeah, you also just amazing. I love you. <laughs> okay, so after that, we signed the register. We did, um, we did the formalities, and Karis became Karis Whitaker. I sorted out my face. I'd make a ring down there. <laughs> What happened after that? Oh, we went out and we got a little we bit of time together. together. Yeah, and then we went down the aisle to walking on, oh, sorry, walking on sunshine. <laughs> and walking on yeah. sunshine. And then um, we went off into a quiet little room and had some Prosecco. That was Corona. lovely. It was nice just to see Karis and like, tell her how lovely she looked for the 60th time that day. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally oh, a dress. broken record. I was like, yeah. you look gorgeous. The I dress, I love The you. dress is just like, I think a lot of you guys have said like it's not what you expected Karis yeah. to go for and I completely agree, mm -hmm. but it is stunning and I think not only like I've looked now I've looked I literally oh, earlier, yeah, I, I watched looked it. through the wedding dress video of Kyle's trying on all the other dresses and like they all looked amazing on you but now nah, this one was just it was just something special and it's so not like you which yeah. makes it so special because exactly. normally you would wear, wear a more tight fitting like dress like bodycon dresses yeah. or whatever and so to go like just this amazing princess, princess dress flowing dress I think they called it a Juliet dress yeah. it was just stunning it was so gorgeous I loved and it, it was so beautiful and oh I loved it. Oh it was so it was nice. Amazing. You kept saying it all the time. I, I know, like, oh. it was stunning. You were like literally like just such a little princess. Ooh. You were my queen for the day. I felt like your queen. <laughs> um so yeah, we got a little bit of time together in a separate yeah. room while everyone set up for the confetti shop 
That was hilarious. Um, and it was really nice. Yeah. A lot of people told us before, take minute moments for yourself yeah. and make sure you step away. And I think we really did do that a yeah, lot quite a few during the day. day yeah. A lot. Like, I felt like, yeah, although the day went yeah. quick and it was really overwhelming, yeah. at the same time, I felt like I really yeah. did treasure those moments with you that we had alone. And that was really nice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, everyone set up for the confetti short. You can explain that. So we basically, um, we, we, we were worried about not having enough confetti. Oh, we'll be wrong. We had more than enough confetti. To match. And I think what the issue was, was that um, we didn't have much space to work without the door. And so people <laughs> were kind of like really bunched together. So they, they'd be like, maybe three people where if you just had a line, there'd only be one. Yeah. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, there was like a lot of confetti <laughs> going at the same time. And literally, we got absolutely Plus plastered with confetti. confetti. It took a good half an hour to get the confetti off us. I was going to the toilet at like midnight, and there'd still be confetti coming through my waistcoat. Yep. I opened my fire a couple of hours later to go to the toilet, and confetti oh. walked out. There was confetti <laughs> everywhere. I was like a magician, honestly. It was coming out in all places. <laughs> but it was plastered all in my eyelashes, yeah. in my oh, yeah, hair, stuck in, your eyelashes. in my mouth. But some of the photos and the video, it was amazing. It was such a fun part of the day. Um, and then after that, what did we do? We tidied ourselves off. We had another little moment while we yeah. removed the confetti yeah. from us. Um, and everyone went to get their drinks and stuff, yeah, which was really yeah. nice. The weather was so sunny, oh, it was 26 we were degrees. So lucky, and it was so sunny, and it wasn't even that windy. No. Had a nice little beast, it was stunning. gorgeous. It, it was, was gorgeous. Perfect, like a little hot for a suit, but. Everyone gorgeous. had their drinks outside, yeah. we had donuts, ice so cream. We were outside sweets. in like, the lovely grounds all day. They had massive really grounds, amazing. grass, seating areas, yeah. stunning. Um, so everyone chilled. The donut wall we had, yeah. ice cream for a couple of hours, really good ice cream, so all the guests were helping themselves. Unlimited. Sweets, and then we to? went outside, had a quick mingle for literally 10 minutes, yes. and then we went straight into formal photos. Yes, that's what we did. So we desperately wanted formal photos like anyone else, so with our family and with our bridesmaids like, and stuff like that. But like we wanted to get them done quite quickly because we wanted to make sure we had time to socialise with our yeah. guests and like get some more creative photos. And it was so quick. The photographers really were amazing. Yeah. Literally, they were just like done. Done, yeah, done. We were like, this is photos. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then we went on to do a couple of fun ones, yeah. and then... We had a good, like, 45 minutes then to socialise with our guests. It was so nice. I saw so many people, yeah. I just got round everyone. Yeah. And then after that, we went for our lots yeah. of couples' fun photos. We went yeah. around the grounds. They had a did little some, river area. Yeah, was, they had some woodland shots. We did loads of stuff yeah. like that. I absolutely wrecked my yeah. shoes to pieces, yeah. walking through the pebbles of mud. Like, bugs up Oh, bugs <laughs> all in my dress. Because the, the videographers were, were saying, because it was a light, a white dress, yeah. they're attracted to light. No one else was wearing white, just me and my bright white dress. All the bugs were like basically attracted to my dress and they were inside my dress. We were like shaking the bugs yeah, out. Actually, we had to, we were like pulling <laughs> flies out and stuff. <laughs> but it was fun. Um, yeah. And then. We went straight into the breakfast. Straight into food. Yeah, food. so they announced us into the food hall and we went down, we sat on the top food hall to the school hall. We went and sat on food the top hall. table and we had amazing. food, which was amazing. And again, we got up and we went and chatted around the tables. And the room was stunning. And the florist had done such an incredible job of like decorating with the centerpieces. The food was so good. Everyone was saying the how the food was amazing. amazing. And the waiters were so good bringing it all in. My mouth was starting to yeah. hurt from smiling at this point. Yeah. Like I was just so happy at yeah. all points of the all day. Like I was just like... Time. I, but then I didn't really eat anything. In the UK, we do our speech after dessert. So like you can do them before dessert sometimes, but we chose to do them after dessert, so after all the courses had been done. And I was getting a little bit nervous, but then also, again, I was just really excited. So I was really excited, plus I was nervous. Yeah. And so I had this butterfly feeling, oh. and I didn't really eat much, and my yeah. appetite just wasn't there. So I, I don't know. know how you, you didn't I eat ate quite much. a lot. You ate more than me. My but... dress was obviously fitted. It was yeah. still, there was a lot of room for me yeah. to eat. I'd already eaten like two donuts, <laughs> loads of sweets, <laughs> in between mingling. Um, and yeah, I was did just. Did you have ice cream? No. Oh, oh, did you? I saw so you with ice cream. Yeah, ice cream. I did see you with the ice cream. Yeah, and then we did speeches after. We did. Chase's so, speech was amazing. Traditionally, I think Father of the Bride went to go first, but I asked if I could go first because I wanted to kind of get mine done. The other three speakers were far better at public speaking, and I knew that if I yeah, they, they were all kind of really went confident. later on, that I wouldn't really listen to their speech, because I would just be yeah. thinking about my speech the yeah. whole time. When I did it, I kind of zoned out, and it was almost like I was speaking, but I wasn't there. It didn't seem and like he was everyone nervous says, at all. Yeah, everyone says that. I felt so nervous. I felt like I was shaking the no. mic and stuff. No, you weren't. He literally okay. started speaking and I was like, what the heck? He had like a whole page and I thought he was reading it off the page. He literally didn't even read any of it. He was just, I was like, 
He's got to learn the whole blooming thing. It was so <laughs> natural. It was so you added in bits. You didn't say some bits. It was so just like because I, I know it was I what wanted he wanted it to sound chatty. I didn't want it to sound like I was. A robot, I'd yeah. learnt it. Almost, I always it wanted chatty. it to be a bit chatty. It did. Aww, it was perfect. You. All the speeches were amazing. And your dad spoke, who he is was a very kind of chatty speaker as well, and really beautiful. So relaxed. And your mum did a poem. Oh, that was amazing. Was yeah, my mum did a poem. Incredible. And she got a TV. Well, they had a, like a massive TV that they brought into the room, yeah. and she played loads of photos on it, and like it kind of went through what yeah. she was talking about in the poem yeah, yeah, on yeah. the screen, and it was really, it was really, really nice. nice. As the groom don't usually do much, but my mum really wanted to give a really quick response. Such I like to welcome speech. Karis into our family, just yeah. like Karis's parents kind of welcome me into Which theirs. Which was really nice. Um, yeah, and that, that was quite really, really nice. good to say. Yeah. It, was, it was a really lovely speech. It was just a really nice speech about And she me. got a bit emotional, which was yeah. really beautiful. It was really, really nice. Yeah, and it was really sweet. My and brother, then... who, was, who was also acting of what we call Master of Ceremonies, so he was like introducing all the speakers and like, Announcing us whenever we went into the rooms and stuff. He's got a very loud voice. My brother has. Amazing. He, he loves performing and he does a lot of amateur stuff. He should be professional. And, <laughs> he should and his be. speech. Like, I, so I knew his speech was going to be good. Yeah. Same. Just like it's it's like he is good He's at that good kind at of thing. That, yeah. And it, but it was amazing. Oh, it, was it was just so ridiculous. Good. I wouldn't even know where to start. And with it's so annoying because I kind of want to show all the speeches. I know, I know. And it's like, I don't know how we do that because they're really lovely. Like some stories about me as a child. So funny. And like obviously the best one is went to embarrass the groom, and he he did, but in his own kind of it weird was in such a good way. way. Yeah, it was. And it was incredible. Oh, it was just so funny. He is so hilarious, <laughs> and the speech was just amazing. Yeah. And, and then was saying how all the speeches were good. Oh, which was everyone loved so the speeches, which was really which nice. So yeah. Everyone was saying that there was just a lot of love in the room, and yeah. just a lot of, and that was really special to us. <laughs> then James's brother did the most amazing oh, thing, yeah, which was yeah. such a special part of the day for like everyone. Did you see it coming um, at all? No, not no. at all. Um, you guys may have seen this on James's story because he actually blocked me from it. But John, basically, which is James's brother, created a video mm -hmm. of. All like a compilation of videos from you guys, our viewers, um, and it was just people saying congratulations, saying sweet messages, and he'd edited together this six minute video of so many clips of yeah. people, and we were thinking about putting it at the end of this video, so we'll hopefully get the six minute video, we'll put it at, it at the, the end, end if video. you wanted to watch it. I, I felt so bad because I wasn't like crying any of the other speeches and then I started playing this thing and I was so emotional I, and I was so trying to hold it in I was like oh so no. just, just to explain a bit further yeah, like, so if any of you guys don't follow me who regularly watches our vlogs but you know you're bad you should, you should follow me you're bad I have a great Instagram account it's never really posted but I, I, I put up some stories I blocked everyone or at least I hope I blocked everyone who was coming to the wedding as a day guest um, from it so that it would be a surprise for everyone, not just Karis. And then I put on my story to ask you guys to send in just a quick kind of congratulations um, to Karis and I for getting married. And John did initially try to do this on his own, but he couldn't work out a way to kind of reach out to yeah, you guys without, without one of us knowing. So he reached out to me to do it. And so many of you guys sent in messages, and we are it. so, so thankful. And he actually has a file of all of the messages you guys have sent in. Full. So. He didn't include all of them in the video because there were, there were actually too many, which was amazing. I couldn't believe there were too many. Um, so, but we are going to go through after the honeymoon and kind of watch through the speeches in watch the all. I said I took him like 26 to 28 hours in it, total. Like, and I was like, and I, I could feel that. it because yeah. obviously we do a lot of editing. We know how yeah. long it takes, and that was also but a, better than our videos. Yeah, <laughs> I was sat there like, he's actually done this. This is yeah. like ridiculous. It just made me emotional because like the. My dad and like a few yeah. times throughout the day, people have brought up social media. It's obviously a huge part of our lives, yeah. and it was a big risk we took going on social media. We did it together. It's been yeah. a massive part of our relationship, a massive and part a lot of, of our life. Don't understand it. A lot of people don't understand it that were there yeah. in the wedding. Completely understandably, before social media, yeah. I didn't understand what YouTube was and how much it means to YouTubers. Or yeah. you know, I hate that word, but it means a lot, and it is a big part of our life, and it is like having. A f a other yeah. family and friends who watch us and share so much with us. We share so much with you guys. Yeah. And I just think it was so special for us to see and for a lot of people who were at the wedding came up after and said, I honestly didn't know that YouTube meant that to other people. And for yeah. seeing other people like you guys doing those videos and saying how much our videos mean to you, other people seeing that at the wedding, I think it was really eye-opening to them. Mm -hmm. They were like, okay, we yeah. didn't know there was so much of a connection. And it's like, like yes, people there were is. Actually crying. Like, you yeah, were crying. Yeah, they were crying. Like, people like, were crying. And I think it, it means a lot to our friends and family to kind of 
see actually that. see you guys and to like and it's, it meant a lot yeah. for us like we hardly see you guys exactly. and it's so amazing to actually see so many of your faces yeah. and like uh, it oh, meant it the world so it was incredible. incredible I'm gonna cry again and sorry if you kind of missed those Instagram stories on my Instagram like we there was no other way to do it without cast no like we couldn't do it on YouTube or anything so I do apologise if you wish you would sent one in but didn't get the memo. Thank you so much to all of you guys whether you sent in a video or not. Like, all of you! You're all incredible. We love you, you so, you guys much. so much. <laughs> so yeah, that was a huge and special And that really part. made our wedding day, like, so like everything made it so special. That, everything there was, was just, just like, more and more. there were so many cherries or ice syrup yeah. on the cake, whatever the phrase is. There were so I many. Know. We ended up with a boatload of cherries. A boatload of cherries on top of the cake. <laughs> it was too much, it was just Obviously. getting more and more. Well, the, the cherry, cherry on top of the cake. The icing on the cake. Icing on the, the icing on the cake. Yeah, so much icing. <laughs> So much evening guests arrived, that which is really was it. nice. We socialised with the evening guests, and that's you know we started having like a couple of beers and stuff. And like room. I think from then everything was just party. It was just chill, wasn't it? And like just lots of chatting to our mates yeah. and stuff. Really special. And then we had our first dance. Cut the cake. So again, it was amazing. So many times we like walked into the new Mr. and Mrs. Whitaker. You just felt so, <laughs> special. so special. I felt like a king and queen. I, know. I was How like. How many times were we like clapped and cheered? And I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we, so we quickly cut the cake, which was actually so funny. So we had like, we had a three tier naked cake. And we went in and we were like, ooh, let's cut the cake. And, and Kyle was like, do we cut through all three tiers? And I was like, no, just cut through one tier. Let's just cut through the top tier. Oh and then I was, like, I was like, nah. Yeah, I think we were both like, actually. Let's do it let's all. Let's cut through all the tiers. And we went through the top tier, which was so easy. And then we hit the middle tier and we were like. And, the and we were going to try so that the cake stopped. <laughs> The cake was just falling. And there was fruit around the side. And it was falling all the over the floor. And they were like, and all the, the cars just like. Stop! Time. Yeah, all the guests were like, oh my gosh. And we were like, stop now, let's stop, let's just stop, let's stop. Then we went into our first dance. That was special. Which was really beautiful. Yeah. Um, although, we swayed. <laughs> we swayed for a good six minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this kind of is quite an intimate song. Like, there's so many weddings, you kind of boogie for maybe 30 seconds with your bride. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone's like, come on, come join us on the dance floor. But with it being such an intimate song, it felt weird to break away from you and start and going, be like, Ray! When it was like, yeah, because we're just swaying and chatting. I didn't and laughing. actually feel awkward, which no, I thought did I would. Because everyone was like, "That's the most self-conscious you ever feel," and I was like, "I, I didn't feel self-conscious." Because again, we were just looking at each other. Yeah. It kind of just felt like we were just chilling together. What's so amazing is like it really like, and I hope it comes across on the photos and on the video. It's like none of it's like staged at all. Like literally, no. we ha we did our day. Like that was our yeah. wedding. And the photographers and videographers, they were amazing. They weren't even they, like, seen. They blended into the background. I didn't even know. I just them. got such amazing shots of photos. Didn't know they were there most yeah. of the time. It looks like they've gone, now do a cute yeah. dance. It's no, like, no, they were just in the corner of the room, like, got you. The band started Parted. playing. So we had the beats, the band UK, and just they were ridiculous. just, Parted we danced them right away and had lots of chats to everyone. And it was nice because there was, was a massive amazing. dance floor bit, yeah. which people danced on, but then there was also the you whole way outside, through the venue. Yeah. You could go outside, you chilled. It was a, yeah. such a gorgeous night. Pulled off to bed at like 2 a.m. <sighs> 3 we a.m. Was it 3? 2.45. Oh, gosh. Then we woke up at 8 the next day for our breakfast. And we had a massive breakfast yeah. with everyone yeah, and caught up so on the nice. day. And ever since we've been talking about the whole day. I just don't want to stop talking about it. When is it okay to, when is it not okay to talk about your wedding? That's we're, what I want to know. We're still going strong. Literally. Uh, it was just incredible. <gasps> it was amazing. Yeah. And now we're off on our honeymoon in a few yeah. days and we can't wait. So we are not posting oh, yeah, until the 14th of, of July. Yes. And it it's is coming. our wedding video like the professional one and make sure your notifications are on. Be there! You know, chuck it in your diary people, like Set I can't an alarm. wait. I can't wait. 11am the 14th of July, that is when this video will be going live on James and Carrie. Thank you so much for you guys for watching this video. I don't want to stop talking about everything about it. we do and we are going to stop talking because we will just we keep will. going on and on. We're going to show that six minute vi video now so we're going to say goodbye but stay tuned because it will cut into it so don't go away once we put our hand over the camera. Oh yeah because it's going to go into the six minute video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate everything you've done for us. Really appreciate all of you guys being involved on the wedding. It's been so amazing bring you guys with us on the and we really hope you're just as excited as we are to watch the wedding video. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's unbelievable. Thank Leave us a you. comment on we absolutely anything. We love reading them, although we're not going to be reading them from Wednesday onwards. Just we're on a honeymoon. We're on a honeymoon. <laughs> guys, the sponsors on Instagram, on the posts we've been putting up, absolutely overwhelming. I'm going to keep going on and on he's just, and on. He's but we're going to leave you guys there. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you guys so much and it's really special for us to have you on our journey. I'm going to stop babbling. We love absolutely you so much. Blessing. See you in the trailer. See you next week. See you in the video. Bye. Love you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Hi James. Hi Karis. Hi James. Hi Karis. Hi Mr. and Mrs. Whitaker. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Just a little message from North Wales. My name's Charlotte from Buckinghamshire. This is Bettina from Denmark. I'm Richard and I'm from Gloucester. I'm Hannah and I'm from Cardiff. My name is Jessica and I'm from London. I'm Eve. I'm from Wolverhampton. My name is Erica and I'm from Ireland. This is Justine from New Jersey. My name's Charlotte. And my name's Matt. And we're from Essex. My name is Cassie and this is my baby girl Mia. We're from Minnesota. I'm Damie, I'm from Belgium. I'm Evie from Shropshire. My name is Charlotte and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sending so much love from Chicago. From Malaysia. From Lincoln. From Portugal. From Belgium. From Dorset. From the Philippines. From Surrey. From the Netherlands. From Torquay, Australia. From Katie in South Carolina. From Croy, Australia. From Atlanta, Georgia. All the way from little old New Zealand. It's Caitlin and Amelia. We're from Oxford. Hi, my name's Sarah and from Bridget. I'm Charlotte, I'm from Montreal, Canada, and I'm saying congratulations on your wedding. I just wanted to say congratulations to James and Cass on their marriage. And I want to say congratulations on your marriage. I just want to say a massive congratulations on the wedding. Congratulations, James and Cass. A huge congratulations on your wedding. Congratulations on your wedding, and I'm so happy that you guys are finally getting married. So I just wanted to go ahead and congratulate you guys on your wedding day. Congratulations on tying the knot. Congratulations, James and Karis. Congratulations, boo! Congratulations on your wedding, guys. Congratulations, James and Karis. We wish you all the best on your magical day. Congrats on getting married. You guys did it. Congratulations from Germany. We, we hope, hope you're having, having the best, best wedding, wedding day, day ever. ever. I hope you have the best wedding day. You guys really deserve it. We hope that your wedding day is magical and everything that you've ever wanted it to be. I hope you're having the best day ever. A massive congratulations on your big day. I hope you have the best day of your life. I know you will because you guys are just meant to be together. Happy wedding day, Karis and James. We love you guys so much. Congratulations on what feels like a wedding that we've all been a part of. I hope it's been full of fun, love, laughter, and that you've both enjoyed every moment of it. I wish you both a very, very happy day and a very happy life together. Hope you had an amazing day and I wish you a lifetime of happiness. I'm wishing you both nothing but happiness, success, good health, and love with each other. Just wanted to wish you the most magical day because you two deserve it. I hope you have a special wedding day and an amazing honeymoon. I love you guys so much and you so deserve to be happy. I love you so much, congratulations. Have a lovely day guys, you both deserve it so much. I wish you all the best in the world and may all your dreams come true. Just want to say a massive congratulations on the big day and wish you all the happiness and health for the future. You two are such a beautiful couple with so much love for each other which is evident in every single video you guys post. We love watching your vlogs and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. You guys have such a great relationship and congratulations on your marriage. Now it's time for a happily ever after. It's just so exciting that you could spend the rest of your life with your best friend. I was so excited when your engagement video came out and I thought it'd be a long time waiting but time for one. We've supported your couple's channel since the beginning in it. just want to say a huge congratulations on the wedding. Really looking forward to the video and can't wait to follow the next chapter of your lives together. I hope you have the best day because you two definitely deserve it. You guys make my heart melt. I love you so much. I hope your day is absolutely as lovely as you two are. You deserve the world and you deserve happiness and I'm just so unbelievably happy that you and James have found each other. It's been so fun watching your journey so far. I love watching your guys' videos, you're so inspirational. I love your energy and positivity and have an amazing wedding day. You're so genuine to your people. Thank you so much for just being an amazing source of inspiration and for just being awesome and being unique and being you. I love watching your channel, you guys just bring so much joy to my life. And you're just always reach out to us. Karis actually messaged me in April for my 21st birthday and I cried my eyes out. Uh, it made my birthday. So thank you for that. I also wanted to thank you for making all of your content. Um, even with my boyfriend deployed, we still watch them together over video chat. So thank you so much for being such beautiful people. You two are such a big inspiration for me. I really hope you live a life full of joy. Thank you for making me realise the potential I have in myself, especially when it comes to self-love. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm so excited to see your guys' future together. I cannot wait to see the wedding vlog. I bet it's going to be amazing. I literally cannot wait to see all the pictures and all the videos. Been watching your videos forever. We love your videos so much. And I'm so happy for you. I was watching your anniversary video the other day and I was crying the whole 
time. You guys are some of my best friends, and I wish you nothing but the best. You make an amazing couple. You're literally goals. I love you guys so much. I believe that you both deserve the best. Um, and you both deserve um, all the happiness in the world. Hope both of you are happy every day and stay healthy. And thank you for letting me be a part of your family. It just means a lot to me. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us all. I wish you all the best for the future. Just remember, you are enough. Now go and have some fun on your honeymoon because you deserve it. And I think I speak for all of Busy Bee family when I say we can't wait for those Whitaker babies. So get started tonight. We wish you the very, very best for your beautiful wedding day and for your future together. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Bye. Lots of love, your wedding photographers. Yay, happy wedding day! Happy wedding day! Happy wedding day. Bye! Bye. Congratulations, guys. All my love for the future. Congratulations. Congratulations. Best of luck for your futures together. We love you so much. Bye. Bye. Peace. Boom. Love you. Love you both so much. Thank you for sharing so much of your life with us. And here's for many more years of Jaris. I love you guys so much. Keep doing you. I love you so much. Bye.